praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah welcome everyone so today holy spirit will speak to you i believe i believe that uh, this live video will make your life change it will bring fruitfulness in your life i believe if you have faith like that of a mustard seed jesus has said that you can do wonders in your life so i welcome everyone those who are watching this live video i was not able to come on live for the past many days because i was not here i was in a mission trip and i thank everyone for the prayers you have given hallelujah so today god will speak to you i welcome everyone sister colon posi i can see your name so today god will speak to you hallelujah sister faith that words i can see your name i welcome everyone Hallelujah. So welcome Sister Sandy Beach. So today Holy Spirit will uh, speak to you. I was in a mission trip for the last uh, one month so I was not able to come online. The meetings were very blessing and I thank everyone for the prayers. Sister Ramya Rai, thank you Lord for all the work you are doing in this um, um, in the group lord welcome uh, i welcome everyone hallelujah so today also god has a word to share with you it is you must have the boldness if you pray to god you must have you must be courage you must have courage you must not fear maybe you have many prayer requests today this morning today this morning you have many prayer requests but are you sure that god has heard your prayer if you are uh, if you are sure that god has heard your prayer you must be bold because god has given us the spirit of courage he has given us the spirit of his son jesus so before coming into this uh, live word let us close our eyes to pray hallelujah father uh, heavenly father thank you lord for the presence you are given here lord i submit everyone those who are watching here touch their hearts so as to receive the word of god let it bring forth fruitfulness in their life i pray in the name of jesus only in the name of jesus be exalted give me revelation prophecy may the power of god be released hallelujah in the name of jesus i pray there should not be any distraction no disturbance let there be network clarity picture clarity everything only in the name of jesus be exalted in the name of jesus amen hallelujah so uh, in the book of romans we can see one word that romans 8:15 it says for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out abba father so once we were in bondage we were not knowing christ maybe you are a namely christian or you have come from another religion but you know christ only with a certain limit you do not know the love of christ you do not know the power of christ but you know you have maybe you have the photo of jesus in your in your house but you have not experienced the power of jesus you have not experienced the love of jesus you have not experienced the grace of jesus but when you receive jesus christ as your savior jesus came into your heart then you began to experience the power of jesus the grace of jesus the love of jesus so now you could say that i am not afraid of anything because jesus is with me so here the verse is saying uh, in the book of romans 8:15 it says that you you should not fear any more because you have not received the spirit of uh, bondage before you you when a problem came into your life you were afraid hallelujah you may be praying to many people you may be praying oh, lord when i get delivered but now you are sure because the grace of god is with you now you are sure that you can say boldly that god has heard my prayer because you know abraham he was taking his son for a sacrifice his son asked father where is the lamb where is the lamb for the sacrifice abraham was bold enough to say that god will provide today how many of you say that god will provide god has seen my things how many of you say that god will uh, take care of my family god will take care of my problems so i am not afraid <laughs> hallelujah so here the verse is saying for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear are you anybody fear in fear are you in doubt 
But Abraham was not in doubt. He said, God will provide. Hallelujah. He was sure. He was bold enough to say that God will provide. Today, if you are boldly saying that my father in heaven has seen my life, he is taking care of my family. So I, I won't fear. I do not want anything because he is my shepherd. He is my you know, father in heaven. So he is taking care. Anybody who is, who is, offer, who is worrying that your children's marriage are not being occurred because of lack of money, Holy Spirit is saying now at this moment that Father in heaven has seen everything in your family and he is taking care of you. So you need not to be worried. So nothing to be worried. A great blessing is coming upon those who are watching. If you believe, you receive by faith because this grace will change your lives because the power of God which comes from God's mouth, it won't return void. It will fulfill its purpose and God has great, great things in your, in your life. Hallelujah. So if you believe, God will change your situations. How many of you say by bold, by boldly you say, God has seen my life. God has seen my life. Hallelujah. So God has seen your life. Uh, an agreement that is being uh, going to be signed, it is coming in your favor. Sister uh, Elizabeth and the agreement that is going to be signed, it is coming in your favor. You need not to be worried because there, uh, you might be thinking whether, whether there is any requirements, or enough requirements are there in the agreement. But Holy Spirit is saying that you need not to be worried because uh, God's favor is upon you, Sister Elizabeth and Holy Spirit is saying today this morning, <coughs> Hallelujah. So welcome uh, Brother Brian Hart. Happy to see you. Happy to see everyone here. So God will speak to you, I believe. Hallelujah. So if you, I told you that before you were afraid, before you were in bondage, but now you have, you have received Jesus Christ as your Savior, so you have courage. You, have, you are not an adopted son. You are the actual son. You are the son of father. You are the son, brother of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God is with you. Whatever you say by bold. Because we can see in the, in the book of Psalms. Psalms 138. 138.3 says, In the day when I cried out, you answered me. <laughs> The psalmist David is saying, in the day when I cried out, you answered me. Because he had an experience. He could say that when I cried, he heard my prayer. How many of you have that experience? Not before you received in Jesus Christ as a Savior, but after you came to church, after you began to read Bible, after you began to meditate the Word of God, after you began to listen to the meetings, listen to the gospel meetings, after you began to pray in night for many hours, you have received the spirit of courage and not the spirit of bondage. All the spirit of bondage, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. No more spirit of bondage, no more doubt. Some people still, they say, we have received Jesus Christ, we have taken baptism. We are going to church, we read Bible, we have read, I have read Bible many times, some people say, but still in fear. Still people in fear, whether my prayer requests have been heard, whether my, my, my father will uh, answer my prayers. But here what the psalmist is saying, Psalm 138.3, in the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. <coughs> Hallelujah. So he had an experience. He had an experience that when, when he prayed, there was a God, there is a God who is answering the prayer. He is sure. So the psalmist is saying, when I prayed, when I cried out, you answered me. Not only you answered me, you gave me boldness and strength in my soul. Hallelujah. So if God answers your prayer, if God listens to your prayer, what he will do is not, he will, he will not give you the prayer request to be given at that moment, but he will give the strength. He will give you faith and you will have the boldness to wait. That's why when Abraham was um, taking his son to the mount to sacrifice his son, Abraham had the boldness. 
He said, son, my father will provide. Hallelujah. How many of you can say to your children? How many of you can say to your friends? How many of you can say to your neighbors that God has heard my prayer? When I say this, I am experienced, experiencing the presence of God. So, sister An Anjana Tiwari, Holy Spirit is saying that God has heard your prayers. You need not to be worried. God has seen your heart. God has heard your prayer. I see a proposal is coming. It is in your favor. So you need not to be worried. God has heard you. You must boldly, you must boldly say that God has heard my prayer. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the God is is enough to make you successful in your life. You need not to be worried. The job which you quitted, but you're going to get another job. It is coming in your favor. So you need not to be worried. So all your prayer requests have been heard and answered, Sister uh, Anjana Tiwari. So here the psalmist is saying, in the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. Hallelujah. So David has an experience. He had an experience. And that experience was when I cry, God will answer. When I pray, God will answer. Because it is, we are not talking to an ideal. We are talking, we are talking to the real God. We are, we are uh, speaking to God. God has given you the tongues. God has given you your mother tongue to speak. There are many ways for you to speak to the Lord. You can meditate also. That is also a media of talking to God. So when you talk to God, when you are sure that God has heard your prayer, immediately God will give you the boldness. Hallelujah. Then you will wait. Even if you wait for many years, <coughs> if you ask Caleb, if you ask Joshua, they will say that we waited for 40 years and those 40 years was not a wasting period for us. It was a training period for us. Hallelujah. The anointing to stop the uh, sun, to make the sun stand still. That anointing that uh, it took 40 years for Joshua. So Joshua will say boldly that these 40 years I was not afraid. But meanwhile the other Israelites, they murmured, they were afraid, they were not bold. Because they were still in bondage. Even though God took them from the Egypt. Even though God took them from the slavery. They were still in the bondage. <laughs> their body were in out. But their soul is still in bondage. The spirit is in bondage. Here the psalmist is saying that. You have strengthened me in my soul. You have given me boldness and strength in my soul. Hallelujah. All the Israelites through their leader Moses heard the word of God that heard the prophecy that God saying, I will take you from bondage. I will take you from slavery. But they came out. They were in the desert moving to the promised land. But their, their body is out. But their soul is still in bondage. So they were afraid. So they murmured. They were not sure. Some people are still like this. Some people are like this. They are afraid. They, they do not know whether their prayer request will be. Again, again, they, they cry to God, Lord, when my prayer request answered. But if you are sure that God has heard your prayer, God will give you the boldness to wait. Hallelujah. I will wait for the Lord and I see the miracle of the Lord. How many of you say that? Hallelujah. An explosion in your life. Sister Sandy Beach, I see an a dynamic explosion is coming in your life. Hallelujah. It is a turning point in your life if you believe. Because all the negative things that you have been facing in the past has been moved. And you are going into the another realm. You are going to do the ministry of your own. You are going to see wonders. Finance is opening for your ministry. Till this time, um, uh, I see that the ministry is not going very well. But now... God has opened a way for you. You just step in by faith and you will see the miracles. Hallelujah. Because our God is a great God. How many of you are doing the ministry? To everyone I am giving you a word that if you boldly wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah 40, um, 
31 says that those who wait for the Lord will fly like eagles. Hallelujah. God is going to extend the boundaries of those who are doing the ministry. God is going to do the um, do very great things in your ministry. In your ministry, you are going to see mighty wonders. If you wait for the till this time, if anybody is saying that my ministry is not seen it, I have not started the ministry. But today, this morning, Holy Spirit is saying that your God is going to do great wonders in your ministry. You are going to prophesy. You, your prophecy will be very accurate. You are, when you minister, signs, wonders will follow. You can experience from today onwards because Holy Spirit is saying that I am going to give, release the greater anointing today, this morning. Hallelujah. How many of you receive that by Amen? How many of you boldly say Amen? Hallelujah. Because you are going to, your ministry is going to widen. You are going to prophesy. You are going to see visions. You are going to travel. Hallelujah. To many nations. You are going to speak to many people of different races. Hallelujah. Oh, our God is, God is great to strengthen everyone. Hallelujah. So, what I was saying that from the book of Romans 8, we have not received the spirit of bondage, but we have received the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of courage. Hallelujah. So by faith, you declare. Elijah said, until I say it won't rain. He was much bold. He had the experience. When he was in the wilderness, the ravens were feeding. The ravens were feeding. Uh, God was feeding through the ravens. So he, he had no hope for any, any human beings, only the ravens. And they came with the food at the right time. So he had the experience. So he said boldly, until I say that it won't rain. How many of you have that experience? If anybody is not having that experience, today God is giving you an experience in your life. Hallelujah. Ram Shalam Ana Handa Risti. God is changing, changing the location. Hallelujah. God is going to change the location. Hallelujah. It is to you. It is to you. Lavina, uh, it is to you, Lavina, Lavira. Uh, God is changing your location. God, you are, you are going to have a shift in your residence. You are going to um, another place. You came from far and now staying in the place near the town, but Holy Spirit is saying that, I am going to change your location. And I'm going to bless you because uh, God has to do greater things. You have been waiting for many years for the doors to be opened. But Holy Spirit is saying th today this time that I have opened a door in the wilderness, a river in the desert that nobody can shut. And by faith you will, you will move. I do not know whether you are running some uh, business like grocery like that. Holy Spirit uh, gave me a word, Lovina, that grocery. Grocery, uh, I do not know whether you are running a business, but um, Holy Spirit is saying, I said a word, grocery. So in these days, um, uh, by faith, I am prophesying that um, you are going to run a business. You are going to run a business, something related to grocery. By faith, I am saying, so uh, finance is also providing for that. You need not to be worried. You need not to be worried because uh, God is going, um, God is uh, going to do many things in your life. God is going to change your lives. Maybe uh, God is going to open the doors for you. Uh, uh, finance is also going to open for you. So you need not to be worried. So you, you must have the spirit of uh, uh, spirit of uh, Jesus. Hallelujah. So yeah, um, in the Romans, where, when we read, we can see that Paul is, is saying that uh, many as led by the spirit of God who are the sons of God. For, so those who are led by the spirit of God, those who are under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, they will have the boldness. Even if many storms come, many tempests come, they are not afraid. They will be sleeping like the master Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus was on the boat. He was sleeping very well. But the disciples, 
They were still in the, they were walking with Jesus, but still in bondage. But when they received the Holy Spirit, even Peter, Paul, when they were imprisoned, they were sleeping very well because they had the spirit of courage. When negative things came into their life, nothing affected them because they had the spirit of bondage. Not the spirit of bondage, they had the spirit of uh, courageous, the spirit of Jesus. So today, I am going to pray for you that everyone to have the spirit of the son of Jesus. Everyone to have the spirit of courage. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for everyone. Hallelujah. God is going to make your life fruitfulness. Hallelujah. So let us close our eyes. Hallelujah. Let us close our eyes. I am going to pray for you. Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let Holy Spirit move. Let Holy Spirit touch everyone. Lord. I pray for everyone. I pray for everyone. Everyone those who are watching. And those who will be watching later. Lord. Touch everyone. Hallelujah. God is widening. Your ministry. O Rabba Shakara. God is extending. Uh, Apostle Mania. Apostle Mania, God is widening your territory. Apostle Mania from Kenya, God is widening your territory. You are going to reach your promises. It is not far. I see that um, you are going to be established of your own. You are going to have your own uh, seed. You are going to have your own seed. You are going to be established. You are till this time. You you, you are not uh, using your seed, but you are going to have your own seed. You are going to have your own land. You are going to be established. Mania Abraham. Brother, Holy Spirit is saying that you are going to be established. Your ministry is going to widen. I'm going to pray for everyone. Rava Shaka Rama, Riba Lama Sa. A multicolor anointing is now coming upon you. Yes, a multicolor anointing is coming upon you. O Rava Shaka Rama, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for everyone. Lord, touch everyone. Those who are waiting, give them boldness. Let them have the faith. Let them have the boldness like that of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray. They should not mumble. They should not be doubted. In the name of Jesus, those who are having a disease right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Rashanaba, the pain, the injury, the broken, everything, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the... The healing power is released right now in the name of Jesus. The, the leg swollen is healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Spirit is moving. I see the power of the Holy Spirit moving. The heaven opened. Those who are not seeing visions are going to see the visions clearly. Hallelujah. You are going to see the visions clearly. Your prophecy are going to become accurate in the name of Jesus. I see the treasure is open. Colleen Posey, sister, the treasure is open for you. The treasure is open for you. You, you are, your prayer request not answered for many years. I see heaven open and giving you an injection, an injection order. It is coming. It is in your favor. Hallelujah. It is coming in your faith. You have been waiting. You have been waiting for long. But now I see the heaven open in the name of Jesus. It is going to bring fruitfulness in your family. You are not alone, Holy Spirit is saying. The one you are waiting for is coming with you. So need not to be afraid. In the name of Jesus. Rasha Lama. I pray for everyone. Lord touch. Lord touch. In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of heaven be released right now in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Spirit be released right now in the name of Jesus. Breaking all the curses. 
till this time somebody in your house sister faith and words somebody in your house looking for a proposal marriage god is uh, acknowledge uh, as a senior your prayer request it is going to be done it is going to be solemnized so need not to be worried everything will be okay everything will be right holy spirit is say i am i am bringing the right person sister faith and words holy spirit is say i am bringing the right person shakaram dirima nasama nibo diva pitala meshelebe hallelujah holy spirit is saying the greater great um, um, things are going to happen if you believe that you are the son of jesus if you believe if you believe that you are the son of jesus you must boldly believe you must boldly declare hallelujah that my blessing is coming it is here then you will see you will see that in the name of jesus lord touch everyone those who are not filled with the holy spirit right now be filled with the holy spirit right now right now be filled with the holy spirit let them speak in tongues hallelujah let the doors of the ministry be open the finance be open those who do not have house those who do not have the church of their home give them their own land give them their own building in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i pray for everyone in the name of jesus amen hallelujah so um, god is going to bless you if you believe if you believe boldly if you declare that i am not in bondage god has heard my prayer surely god will bless you from today onwards so um, uh, i thank everyone for viewing this live video i will be on live in this page uh, next week same time est thursday 10 pm Hallelujah. Those who are viewing from different countries, the time will be different, but at the same time I will be here. So God bless you. I will be in live in Prophecy Practice Room also. You can watch my videos there also. So God is going to change your lives. God is going to bless you. I thank God in the name of Jesus for bring, giving me an opportunity. to come on live so may god bless you god multiply you so everyone i am i am releasing a blessing upon you those who are watching this live video that your ministry will be will be not the same it will be in the next level your family life will be in the next level your personal life will be in the next level not because i said but because you believe that by boldness you say that God has heard my prayer and my blessing is coming so God bless everyone in the name of Jesus amen hallelujah